for this part of the tutorial, I'll be showing you the percussion. What I'll do first is I'll show you the kick and then I'll add in each element one by one. So what I'll do first, I'll quickly show you the clap that I'm using combined with the kick. For the clap I'm using phalanx and I'm using function loops, tropical house, percussion, uh, clap number one and clap number eight. And then I'll just basically use the crossfader just to mix the two together. That's how I liked it. So that's number eight. That's number one. I'll set it there. I'll just show you without anything on the channel strip. That's quite a big difference. So I've got the Bryson channel strip just for gain staging and the CLA drums, which is doing quite a lot of the work. So basically I've taken some of the treble away and also I've compressed it subtly. And then I've added a bit of reverb on there with the this dial here. So that's quite a big difference. And then there's a gate on there as well. So I've taken them all off, add them all in individually. As you can hear, that's sung quite a lot. And then I've got the UAD 1176, which is just compressing it a bit, as you can hear. So a little bit of attack, quick release, and then a ratio of eight. Just taming all the peaks and everything. Then I've got the retro EQ, just basically taking the tops and the bottoms off. As you can hear, it's sort of taking quite a lot of the low end off and taking some of the highs off. Otherwise it's a bit bright. And then I've got the Waves L3, which is basically just limiting it all. So we'll just move on to the main clap. So again, I'm using Phalanx for this. Now I'm using Function Loops Tropical House Percussion again, and I'm using Snap 1, which sounds like this. I'll just turn all the channel strip off. As you can hear, there's quite a lot going on in that one. So again, Bryson channel strip. Then I've got the Arts Acoustic Reverb. Which adding a little bit of warmth to it. Quite a lot of room. Um, it's got a bit of a decay on it. It's got a bit of spread on there as well. So I'll bypass that. And then I've got the CLA again on there. And basically all I'm doing there is just adding the, just a bit of compression. Also with this, you've got these dials here that you can actually, it actually changes the sound quite a lot. So if we try, so it's on kick at the moment, let's try snare. So as you can hear, it's brighter. Tom's pretty similar to the kick. So yeah, it's made it a bit brighter and it's sort of, I quite like that sound. And I've got the sample delay on there as well, just sending it left and right, quite wide. So you hear it's quite, it's really quite wide. Got the UAD again on there, just taming the same brace, the same presets as before. It's just taming it in all the levels right. And then the retro EQ again, just cutting the highs and lows off, taking quite a lot of lows off of that one. And then again with the um, L3. So I'll show you the uh, Tom I'm using. Again, it's in Phalanx and it's Tom 4 with Function Loops Tropical House. I'll show you it dry. So as you can hear, that's quite boomy. So what I've done first is I've put the Pro Q2 on it. Just getting rid of the low end, getting rid of some of the mid range, and quite a lot of the highs. Also with this plugin, you've got this button here, which is the auto gain. What that does is anything you take away, it sort of balances the, the gain out. I'll show you more on this when we get to the uh, synth part. Uh, and then what I've got on there is I've got the kick start. So basically getting it out of the way of the kick drum. Obviously, it's quite a um, sort of subby sound. It's a bit low end, so I want to keep out of the way of the kick. And also, adds a bit of groove to it as well. So, and then what I've got on there after that, I've got the UAD Teletronics, basically just trying to level everything out.
also you can hear it's got quite a lot of um it's got quite a slow release on that quick attack for the hi-hat i'm using phalanx open hi-hat 10 uh messing around with the adsr on this and basically putting the slower attack in so uh, the beginning of the sample gets cut off so i'll show you that without as you can hear it's quite sharp so it's taking that away it's quite nice like that i'll take off all the effects of channel strip So as you can hear, it's quite a big difference. I'll put the uh, Pro Q2 on, just cut the low end out, cut around 300, uh, cut some of the highs out, and then cut all the, the top end out. Sounds like this. So it's basically made it a bit brighter. Cuts through the mix a bit better. Got the uh, CLA drums on it, which is where it's basically changing the sound quite a lot. Again, we can change the dials here, give you a different, entirely different sound. And then I'll just use the compressor on there just to tame it. And then I've just added a whole reverb. And these are basically the dials, how much you can add or take away from it. And then I've got a gate on there at the end. It's just doing a little bit, quite subtle. And then I've got the L3, just basically taming it and bringing up the level. Bit of attenuation on that. And then the, um, Retro EQ, just taking off the lows, a bit of the highs. Here's the shaker I'm using. It sounds quite groovy. Well, it is basically straight 16th, but it's the kick start that makes it sound more groovy. So here's it with the kick. And then we're back with the kick start, so it sounds a lot more groovy. And what I've got in there is the like, phalanx again. Um, and the shaker's number one from function loops and then I've got the Arts Acoustic Reverb which I find is the best reverb I'll just bypass all the uh, set them back one by one as you can hear it's quite had quite a lot of depth to that um, so quite nice and then the kickstart obviously like I said the kickstart's just um, adding a bit, making it a bit more groovy getting out of the way of the kick and then the 1176 I'll usually put on percussion it just sounds a bit more punchy. It's got a nice compressor to have on it. Same, basically, same setup as before. Uh, and I've got the sample delay, obviously, sending it wide. Sounds better like that, I find. And then just the um, precision limiter, just taming the peaks. Now, for the last section, which is the ride, and I've got the function loops ride two and ride one. And I basically mix these two together, these two samples. So here they sound, here they are individually. So I quite like the tail on that, but it's a bit strong. I really like the big tack on this. So what I did was I just basically cross-faded it until I liked it. Which is right about there. So I've got the tail and I've got the attack. And I've got the retro EQ, which is basically taking the lows and the highs off again. Quite subtle. And then the CLA on there, just basically um, compressing it. And then obviously you've got the kick setting on this. So as you can hear, that's changed the sound completely. So I quite like that on there as well. Thanks for watching. Next I'll be showing you how I mix the lead sounds and please subscribe for more tutorials.